Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodeholt. We forgot the baby Jesus. In the first church I served every year, the small town we lived in had a Christmas parade. We were the downtown church, so it was somewhat expected that we'd have a float every year. One year we set it up with a couple of youth playing Mary and Joseph kneeling beside a manger. I got them in costumes and sent them off to the lineup site and tidied up a few things before going home to get the boys and Nan to go watch the parade. I was just about to leave the church when suddenly Mary's mother was there, wild-eyed and frantic. We need the baby Jesus, she said. I stared at her and then she said it again and I realized she meant a doll for the manger on the float. We dashed into the nursery and I found a half-clothed doll with hair that pointed about six different directions, wrapped a blanket around it, and sent the mother off. Only then did I think, how could a church and a pastor forget about Jesus? Well, many of the ways we celebrate Christmas are meant to remind us. Let me tell you about the candy cane. As the holiday approached one year, a candy maker was frustrated at how easily people were distracted away from the real meaning of the season, so he came up with the idea of a candy cane to express many messages about Jesus all in one item. First, the stick itself is pure white to remind us of Jesus' purity and the virgin birth. It's also hard so that we are reminded that God's promises are firm as well. He turned the stick so that it formed a J in one direction to remind us of Jesus. Or turned over reminds us of the shepherds in the field on Christmas night and that Jesus is our good shepherd to care for us. He added three small red stripes to remind us of the marks of the whip just before Jesus was crucified and one large red stripe to remind us of his blood given for us. And it tastes sweet to remind us that all this was done in the sweetness of God's grace and love. Hang one on your tree as a reminder. We celebrate Christmas with joy. We celebrate because Jesus comes to save. Many of us have manger scenes in our homes and it's easy to see how they point to Jesus. What you may not know is this. While there are some very early paintings of nativities, the first live nativity is attributed to St. Francis of Assisi. In 1233, he had the idea to depict the nativity using live people and animals and convinced a wealthy nobleman to fund it. I have to tell you that he had Mary, Joseph, shepherds, and he, unlike some people, remembered to put a wax figure of a baby in the manger. Hey, he was a saint after all. Anyway, perhaps when we look at our manger scenes, we can see not only Jesus, but St. Francis too. And remember how he gave his life to honor the child we celebrate. And maybe it will call us to do it too. Oh, and one more thing. At this time of year, we love to sing Christmas carols and we do it everywhere, not just in church. Well, that practice goes back to St. Francis too, who apparently led the singing of hymns at that first live nativity scene. As we sing, we must be reminded of the angel hosts who sang God's promise to celebrate Christ's birth. You know, that frantic mother was more right than she knew. We need the baby Jesus. In our world today, we need the baby Jesus. Remember, it's about the child. Remember, it's about God's love and grace. Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.